everybody. I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm in a Lumens Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. I hope you're doing well today. Today, what I want to talk about is a little bit of what your man or what your twin needs. Your twin can be female or male. So this is going to pertain a lot to the masculine side of both of you. Okay. A lot of people are becoming very confused in this energy. And it's time to lighten it up and take away some of the mystery. I have those things that take away the mysterious parts of this. What's going on? What's happening? Why am I being ignored? And the things that send you looking for other tools. You have one part of you that is actually very important. It's your body. It's the way that you first felt this. It's where you feel the love. It's where you are together. And not only that, you're inside. And it's the part of you that connects you to your higher self. So this body is your anchor here, like it or not. Okay. So how do you get the things going? Well, first of all, you're in a twin flame reboot. There's not only a reboot, there's a rerouting, there is a restructure. And this requires structural alignment. What is the structural alignment? It's the structure of your life. It's the structure of your body. And it's having new foundations. A lot of that I'll be talking about in my life coaching group on the Twin Flame Body. And we do a Twin Flame Meditation. It's this Sunday. That's a repeating one. It goes for four weeks. What else is this energy about? It's actually about the heart. It's about your heart strength and it's about stamina. It's about stamina, perseverance, persistence. So this is the thing I have to ask people. And this is just really for you to answer yourself, not to answer me, but are you tired of this twin flame thing? Okay, when did it become a thing instead of who you are, your twin flame, okay? The things that happen make you even doubt that. Are you a twin flame? Absolutely. Once you felt it, it's on. There's no shutting it off. There are things to do though for your structure and for your heart to get strong. This energy is having a lot to do with recapturing spirit and building up the connections where the spirit body anchors to. It has a lot to do with the polarity shift and things like role reversals. This is an important thing because you will sometimes get a little taste of what your twin's life is like, what it's really like, how they interact with how do, if your twin is a man, how do men interact with other men? And you might see some of it. These two are the mirrors. So when people talk about a mirror exercise, the universe gives you several types of mirrors to enable you to see things about each other and to help interpret it through the heart. Everybody's union is unique and yet there are similar patterns and patterns of relationship. That is what the polarity shift is about. It's to shift out of certain relationship dynamics that are no longer healthy, that have become abusive and outdated. How many boxes are you going to live in? How many parts of you are outgrowing the box? It's time to get out of the boxes that either you or your twin has been living in. And you can't just look over at the person and be like, oh, well, yeah, shaking my head here. This twin flame thing, I can't, I don't know. Okay, it's not a thing. It's you. It's what you agreed for. It's what you're here for, and it is important. It's important. You're not just here to help humanity heal or humanity to be better. You are being better. You are the one that is getting out of those levels first. There is a huge push here towards April that you're going to be very surprised as to what it all pertains to. And it's going to be in every sector of life. It's going to be physical. It's going to be financial. Some of you might be feeling that already. It's going to be health and well-being. It's going to be things that 
might be the opposite of the way that you thought it would be. There's a reason for it because there is a closure coming up that I would like to help you prepare you for. Okay, so you can, you know, hunt around or you can come straight to the 5D teacher, the Blu-ray who has not only gone through it last year and been pushed, pummeled and almost left for dead. We're talking metaphorically speaking, but it was pretty real. And also to help you get yourself scraped up off the ground and get moving again. I have several ways for you to do that. How would you recapture your spirit, which is also what your man or woman needs? How do you get yourself through the polarity shift? How do you deal with these things and how do you redo the outcome? So let me give you an example. Let's say you have a couple that comes together and for whatever reason they have some differences, but they get it all wrong. They get the dialogue wrong. They misinterpret things. You know, one of them has heart palpitations and the other one is like, you're making me crazy. One of them is feeling things around the head and saying, how are you reading my thoughts? And you're just getting all like wigged out with each other. Okay. And you go away. Then what happens? You somehow come together again. But this time, it's possible to redo the outcome. How do you redo the outcome so everyone gets their words right? Everyone starts to nail it and get it right and interpret properly. And not only that, with love and compassion and tenderness, okay? A lot of people are forgetting those tender moments in this. You're tired out. You're very tired. This lunar energy is making you just really tired in a different way again. You're tired of it. You're just, it may not be bone tired, but you're tuckered out, okay? How would you feel so tired if your man had moved the entire house into place? You're gonna feel tired. You're gonna wanna plop yourself into the chair and go, but you can't breathe and this is relentless. What do you do? Well, first of all, come and join something that I have here. I have several things that all address this. I have my Capturing Your Spirit webinar, Capturing Your Spirit and Sealing the Gates of the Heart webinar. It's in the link below. I also have a life coaching group where we do a twin flame high level lucid meditation that continues over the next several days to activate you. And we address parts of the twin flame body and the connections with it. I also offer two sessions that would be very helpful at this time. The spirit chat, which is to help people become spirited again. Spirit is a part of how you get your zest for living back your joy de vivre, your other joya de vivre. How do you get that back and stop really hating this journey? How do you go from, you know, I don't like these parts to, yeah, I can keep putting one foot in front of the other. Okay, I'll put one foot in front of the other and see how it goes. Have a spirit chat or have me help you get your energies moving inside and outside. I do that live here in my studio, right there, or I, I do it over the internet, causal body energy session at a very good price. So you can look for the coupon. There is a coupon for it in the links below. I also have my books. Right now at this time, I'd like to recommend my first book, your Subtle Body Connections. That's where you start. That's where you've always felt the love. That is where you first felt love. Okay. That's where you first felt your heart. That's where you got activated. And like it or not, it was on. That's the thing that you have to keep coming back to, which is what I teach. Your body. Your body your higher body, 
your angel body, your subtle body connections. You felt it in your body. You felt your desire to get better. You felt, you felt, and you want to feel some more. You want to say, I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. You want to be able to get that higher love going for yourself. That one where your structure aligns you both so that you're enjoying each other. So that your man, when they show up, they're not showing up to take on all the tedious tasks of your life. Where you're getting that support from an entirely new level. Where your connections, they're no longer in the old network. They're up higher where they need to be, where your expansion can help you thrive and blossom. That's what I'm teaching people. And I teach you to do it because it's an everyday thing. You have your body with you, not only every day, but it's going to keep expanding. So we go through expansion. You're going through a contraction right now. Yeah, it's part of the birthing process. You're feeling your cycles. You're feeling angry and you're feeling emotional. And men feel that too. Men don't want to feel their cycles any more than women want to feel it. We don't want the headaches and the tension and the gut aches and the tailbone hurting and the lower back hurting and the neck hurting. We don't want any of that. We don't want a migraine or any of the things that go with it. Pain. In those ways, when it's from an old place, is only motivating you to get out of it. Pain isn't teaching you a lesson. Pain and love cannot exist in the same place. Love is what you're here for. Loving each other and making love in your body and making the out of love, the mind-blowing out of body experience that you know is possible. And don't let anyone kid you and say, well, you can have all those things. You just don't have to have the person. Yeah, you're going to have the person. There's the camp that says, I don't want the person. They smell, they're a hot mess. They have this, they have that. And then there's the camp that says, I can't live without that person. Those people will still be coming into the next level where the desire of the heart is there for a reason. You are intended to keep pulling each other. So a lot of this I do write about in my three books. What are soulmates and what are twin flames? This one is where it would be good to start because this will tell you about the subtle body connections and how things have been and why they're that way. And it gives you a good base to start from. Breathing and getting yourself to another level. So all of the links are below. I do invite you to reach out to me if you have questions or you're not sure what would help me, okay? If you're feeling to reach out and tell me things, you should probably have a spirit chat because that's where it can be addressed more so or in my life coaching. This is, this is a, a closed session with just, you know, a small amount of people, you can ask or you can participate. I do invite participation. It's safe. I moderate it. Also, the causal body, but you can write to me at twinflamesmerge at gmail.com. I am here to help. I'm a teacher. I'm not teaching fourth dimensional ways. I'm teaching the fifth dimensional ways that is putting people together. When people contact me and they say, you know what? My male twin is not feeling himself. He's feeling a bit off. He's not sure what's going on. He's not dreaming properly. It's chaotic. It's frightful. You know, is there something wrong? Yes, he's dispirited. Come and find out what your man needs because you have the connections to each other. There is a reason why this seems lopsided, where it seems like there's a lot of females doing. And it looks like the masculine isn't doing, okay? And you're strictly talking about men and women. What do men do? What do women do? But when a higher level, the feminine and masculine are equal. 
You're equally doing things. It's just, you may not be able to perceive what the masculine is actually doing. You know what they're doing? They're going to those cosmic homes and bringing all your favorite stuff. They're making your wishes come true. Oh, you like that? Oh, you want to go back there? Wait, dear. I'll go get it. Just wait. Just wait for me. And that's all they're saying. Wait for me. I'm coming. I'm coming. Well, they're here. They've delivered. They are the delivery men. They are the Johnny on the spot ones who have been bringing in a lot of the deep level stuff that is necessary. Not only that, okay, we could take Uranus and Pluto. Guess what they've been bringing there? A lot of this technology we're using. You think Steve Jobs, you think he was from the Pallades? Oh, hell no. He was from Uranus by way of Sirius and Aldebaran. So, you know, doink, doink, doink. What is your cosmic journey? Are you a star seed? Do you feel some of the stars? Of course you do. Of course you want to get back there. I've loved looking at the stars since I was a child. I had a telescope. I don't have it anymore. But on and off throughout my life, I've had telescopes. I've studied astronomy. I used to be able to do the calculations. That all flew out of my head. It's not relevant anymore. I'm sure it's in there somewhere, but I don't need it right now. But I'm definitely a sky gazer. I definitely know things about light pollution where you're too close to a city, you can't see the stuff, you can't see the stars, you can't see your homes, and yet you feel it. You and your man or your woman feel what's important to you too. That's why I like to teach people and empower you so that you are the same being. You're not having weird role reversals or flopping into dynamics so that you get along like true partners do. So that you don't even have to speak. You're answering each other's thoughts with your eyes and nobody else gets you to but you two. Okay, we're talking about getting to the delightful stuff this year for a lot of people. And not everyone can articulate about it. So why don't you come and find out? If this is new to you, let me know. If it seems out of reach to you, don't criticize me in comments. Write to me, okay? I do try, I also do invite people to donate because I do use that towards other people when they need help. So if you, if you do, and by the way, the well is dried up. Okay, so sorry, but um, I don't really have that available at this time. It's one of the things I would look, I'm looking for down the line to try to be able to do for people. I don't know how it's going to be structured because again, this is part of the structure. But for right now, it has to be the way it is. Okay, this is, this is something very new. You are some of the very first privileged people to be connecting yourselves in this way and coming home to love after all your adventuring throughout the cosmos. Okay, what stories you'll have to tell when you're pillow talking. You know, these are the things you need to look forward to and to sort of rise up while you're getting your body ready, while you're getting your heart strong, while you're building your stamina. Come and let me help you. So thanks so much for watching and have a wonderful day. Remember that you're here for love. Remember that love was what you initially felt. Love's just in a different position. And if you're not feeling it, it's time to come and find out the ways to feel it, okay? Don't be that twin flame couple that doesn't have a whole new set of dialogue with each other. This isn't even a script. It's very heartfelt. So thanks so much. Have a wonderful day and good love to you. Bye.